Hey guys, it's Dane at Zim's Guitars, and I'm back here in my back room. And I bought a box. A uh, guy was moving out of his apartment, and uh, I ended up buying a couple boxes full of this kind of stuff. Let's take a look inside this thing, see what's in here. So yeah, he's a nice guy and he uh, was moving out of his apartment and uh, he pretty much almost gave me all this stuff. What's this thing? A matchbox? You know what? I think that's a volume for maybe a pedal steel guitar where this clips onto the leg. Maybe it could use, be used for maybe some kind of a microphone or something. But I think that's some sort of a volume. We got, uh, oh, it looks like uh, for a speaker cabinet, maybe some sort of electronic crossover. Um, some sort of volume pedal, maybe. It's got a little switch right there. The guy played pedal steel. I think some of this stuff might have been for pedal steel guitar. Oh, look at this. We've got an old, um, I don't know how old it is, but I'm assuming that it's old. Looks like an old, uh, maybe a lipstick pickup. Definitely a lipstick pickup. Maybe it's old Dan, Elec uh, Dan Electro. Maybe something like that. Um, some sort of a bridge. You know what? You guys might be able to help me. Let me set it right here so you guys can take a good look at that. This guy loved Riggenbacher. He also had some Mazrite stuff. Maybe you guys would be able to tell me what you think this fits. I don't see any markings on it. It's a tremolo for a guitar. Right? Some old electronic parts, some resistors, an empty baggie, um, an ATD transducer preamp booster. Huh. Wonder if that thing works. Got an ODOD compressor sustainers. Oh, it's missing its little uh, battery cover. That's too bad. What is this thing? Sonic Wave. Sounds of Time. I.W. Turner Incorporated. Port Washington, New York. wonder what this thing is. Sonic Wave, The Sounds of Time. I've never seen anything like this. It's really cheap plastic. What's this thing? This looks like an antenna or something. Adjust. It's got like an output. Let's see if we got a battery in this thing. See if I can get this cover off of here. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's see if I can put a battery in this thing. Do I got any batteries laying around? This one. This is good. Well, it only has one out. I guess that would be the output. Let me hook my little, uh, I got a little practice amp down here that I tested. What the hell? What the hell? What the, what the hell? What the hell?
Dude, it's a... It's like a theremin. Oh shit, I know it. Wow. The sonic wave. How cool is that, right? Freaking Led Zeppelin! Oh, all right! Oh! It's like a dog, dog whistle. Like Jimmy Page is coming out. Well, how about that? That thing's kind of fun, and it works. Oh, battery, the, the cord's stuck in there. Come on, you come out of there. There we go. Well, there it is, man. Very, um, very old looking. Uh, it, I don't think it has an off button. So, anyhow, there it is. You guys ever seen one of those? You want to continue looking through the box? No, I think I'll end it right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Everybody have a great day. So just for the hell of it, I went on Reverb. And look at that. Here's one right here. The Sonic Wave. Theremin's Sonic Wave. Zep style theremin. Oh my god, 159 bucks. How about that? Pretty cool. There's one right there on reverb. Wait, let's go to sold listings and see if they've actually any of them has actually sold. Oh wow, look at that. There's a different style one from 2013. They're in Sonic Waves. Yeah, guys are getting 150 bucks for them. Oh, you put it, you can put it up on a stand. I wonder if that's the same one. Oh, and they give you a little wand. No, that's the antenna. Huh. They're selling them. They're selling them. How about that? <laughs>